Tennessee Democrats keep Congressman Scott Desjardins stuck in court one day before the election. Good evening. Thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 6. I'm Calvin Snead. And I'm Kim Chapman. The state Democratic Party is trying to get portions of Desjardins' divorce filings in its hands. News Channel 9's John Madewell spent the day in Hamilton County Circuit Court. John, what exactly happened today? Well, Kim, the judge ruled that the divorce papers pertaining to Desjardins' children will remain sealed. Both parties agreed about that, but little else. You've seen the political ads with Congressman Dr. Scott Desjardins linking his opponent to the president. But great is how Eric Stewart describes Obamacare, bureaucrats between patient and doctor. Eric Stewart's camp stresses Desjardins' infidelity scandal. First came the news. A pro-life supporter had an affair with a patient a decade ago and after learning she was pregnant, urged her to have an abortion. And the Tennessee Democratic Party says transcripts from the congressman's divorce contain information voters need. We're going to find that there are multiple women that Dr. Desjardins was having an affair with who were patients of his. We will find from the trial transcript, I believe, uh, that um, some of those women got pregnant while sleeping with him, while they were still his patients. After the court hearing, the congressman responded saying in a statement, my opponent and his far left political allies have done all they can to make this election about everything besides my record in Congress. In fact, it seems that the only opponent that I have ever had to run against is a 14-year-old divorce, end quote. Now, it is indeed an old filing, but the state Democratic Party asserts there is new information. I have been given names of eight individuals that he supposedly had affairs with. That statement got back to Desjardins' attorney. Tempers flared. I don't know who made that statement, but if they can prove that, I would like to hear that. Did you make that statement? What? Is that eight women? That's what we've been told. Oh, see, there we go. We've been told. Well, Why don't you look at the records? in the transcript? It's not, in, it's not in the transcript, I can assure you, it's not in the transcript according to the depositions at least. Now, the Tennessee Democratic Party says once it gets its hands on those six to 700 pages of transcripts, it will release a statement. Meanwhile, Eric Stewart released his own statement saying this is not about dirty politics, but about a dirty politician whose campaign blames other people, but only one person slept with his patients, told the patient she needed to go to Atlanta and have an abortion, and had four affairs while still married. That person is Congressman Desjardins. Kim, as you can tell, this is going to be one heated race tomorrow. It is indeed, John. Thank you so much. And there